the year was 2019. The Imperials had only begun to grow again, due to Merrick's ambitions for the group. Merrick initially planned for the Imperials to be an AMC-only group, but due to the rising tensions between the actual owners of AMC and the Imperials as a group, Merrick knew that the Imperials would not be able to dominate the server anymore. In fact, the owners planned to reset the server, so that the Imperials would no longer have a hold on it. Due to this, Merrick wanted to move the Imperials to a new server. Sadly, no particular server came to a consensus. No one could agree on what server the Imperials should move to as a whole. Beezus Cool wanted to move the Imperials to 2B2T, the main server in Anarchy. He wanted to have it go at becoming a large 2B2T group, to make a name for themselves. One more block wanted to move the Imperials to 0B0T. He liked to be owner allowed to do which would allow him to test his exploits, and the server was generally relaxed and never large population at all. While on the other hand, Supreme 2 wanted the Imperials to come to 9B90, his home server. Supreme 2 already had a decent amount of gear and was willing to give some to the Imperials if they came. Merrick knew that he couldn't move the Imperials into one server, as many would quit. So he knew that he was going to have to bring back the Imperial Division System that LEGO and Titus had used back in 2017 and early 2018. Karma is cool, a player from that time period helped Merrick and to bring back the system, similar to the Division System. And this began what we know as Branches. One more block and Karma is cool went to 0B0T and met up by a player named Nickfin. See at this time 0B0 was very inactive, it had 10 players at a maximum, and it had hardly any groups on the server. Nick Finn had a base on 0B0T which Karma and One More Block stayed at. This base eventually became the 0B0T Imperial Headquarters. Nick Finn and his friends had the issues with the group known as VTang, a Gleefer group on PvP group on the server which didn't contribute much to the server besides be toxic and anti-Imperial. Many 0B0T players thought that the Imperials were going to destroy VTang and liberate the server. In a sense, the Imperials were able to destroy VTang by PvPing them spawn and destroying their stashes. However, VTang had no basis, so it was extremely hard to grief them. VTang got sick of being beat by the ever growing Imperial forces, and they eventually moved off the server. Some left 0B0 and some just left the group. Due to this, the Imperials became the only group on 0B0 for a while, but not for long. In this time, the Imperials were able to create several bases, and many players from AMC migrated to the 0B0T Imperials. The majority of AMC Imperials would head to 0B0T due to it being easy to play and having a relaxed vibe, unlike the other branches of the time which were 9B90 and 2B2T. On 9B90, Merrick went with Supreme 2 to form the first Imperial base known as the Imperial Island. This base had members such as Dog Cube and Zedog, but the rest of the members have been lost to time. Zeta hosted bots at this base and he programmed the bots while he was at the base, while it was being built. Other players built a few large structures, and Merrick built his house on the top of the hill. The base was going well until Doc Cube inside of the base and gave the coordinates to a player by the name of Zim the Destroyer, who nukes the base. Doc Cube had been in Imperial for around three months now. He was at the Imperial main base on AMC. See, at this time the Imperials were still trying to find who was indeed the main base insider, who insided the base to Void. He added up. The main base, this base, and several other bases that Dog Cube had been in for the Imperials. It was him. He was the insider. Enraged the Imperials dock stop Cube, and linked it to the main Imperial Discord along with a few other people who betrayed the Imperials with him. As a result of this, Merrick wanted to make sure that no one was gamed inside again, or docks people again. So he made a branch of the Imperials known as the Penitus Oculatus. Its job was to dox people who doxed the Imperials and kept insiders from far away as possible from the Imperials. It also served as the Emperor's personal division to do his bidding. The Penitus Oculatus would be the formidable branch for years to come. The Imperials sadly left 9B90, but not for long. A couple of months and they'd be back to invade 9B90 at full scale. On 2B2T, Bees lost the ambition he initially had with the server. He didn't want to pay for priority, so the 2B2T branch was basically dead. So Merrick, after being let down by 9B90, went to 2B2T to start the branch. He bought priority queue again and went into 2B2T looking and recruiting for new fags into the branch. Merrick established a few small bases that new fags could go to. He was able to bring gear from the Imperial stash that Bees had made with i -Memes. Eventually, Merrick ran into the player known as David Piran. 
Merrick saw that he was already in a 2B2 group and offered him a position in the Imperials to lead 2B2 to Bishop. David accepted this offer and began to lead the Imperials on there. David was able to strike a deal with a group known as Team Baget. The deal was that Team Baget would become an Imperial division and merge into the 2B2T Imperial branch. Brixepa, their leader, accepted this offer and merged the Imperials. He became the Opto of the Imperials 2B2T branch. The Baget members all joined the Imperials and were invited to the Imperial bases. Here, they built and built. David and Brixepa tried to create relations with groups on 2B2T, such as the Gulag and several other 2B2T groups at the time. Merrick as well tried to do this. While this was all happening, the Imperials and AMC were active. After the fall of the Imperial main base, a new Imperial capital was being built, simply known as the Imperial Main Base 2.0. This base consisted of many Imperials who had been working their way up through the ranks of the group since the Void Wars. At the time there was a small war that lasted a week, between the Imperial AMC branch and the group known as the Tree Cult. This war finished. Their leader Mr. Dark made a deal with the AMC Centurion at the time, Scooby, that the Tree Cult would be disbanded and merged into the Imperial's AMC division, which they did. Players such as Tor, EYK, and several other Swedish players joined the Imperials because of this. One player known as Abraham Cephas made a new structure proposal to the Imperials. He made a suggestion that the Imperial structure should be based off the Roman military instead of the Imperials from Skyrim. Merrick liked this, but not all of it. After cutting some bits from the structure proposal and suiting it towards anarchy, he made Abraham's Cephas's structure proposal reality. From this point forward, the Imperials changed from Skyrim Imperial structure to a more Romanized system. This allowed the Imperials to really start their growth as a group. At this time, the Imperials continued to grow for several months, until the events of the 9B90 invasion, which caused tremendous effects on the Imperials forever. But that's for another time.